this is the, uh, the home page for the app. And, uh, it's a matter of safety and communication built for the surrounding environment used from the palm of your hand. So far it's been very good for us. Most people have a cell phone and this is an easy way for us to be able to get the resources out there. It's called LiveSafe. It's an app that has a few features. One brings up emergency options. Another focuses on a common scenario. Pretend you're walking through campus alone late at night and you're feeling just a little uneasy. You can activate the go safe portion of the app. It notifies a friend so they can virtually follow along with you. It even looks at your destination and gives an estimated time of arrival. Once you get there, it will send Steve a message saying, you know, you've arrived. They can even request a security escort. For students, it's an added peace of mind on and off campus. It's an open campus. We're in the middle of a, of a major city. And so there are definitely times when, you know, you'll be followed by someone suspicious or something suspicious will happen. It helps you get through it, kind of like that mental stumbling block of, am I safe out here? But safety can also mean threats from within. The app lets users anonymously report tips from anything as small as a broken light to something much more serious. I know a student who might be a suicide risk. Can you please check on them? And in that case, which that actually did happen, we were able to follow through immediately and get the student the help they needed. And that help can be found in the fourth feature, resources. One of the things I was worried about was whether or not I was going to overload my dispatchers, but they love it. It's a changing dynamic campus security says has already made a huge difference in just the month it's been active. From Johns Hopkins University, Omar Jimenez at WBAL-TV 11 News.